Good afternoon, amigos, from Talkie Pocky Jalisco. Founded in 1530, Tlaquipaque is kind of like a, a city suburb area just on the outskirts of Guadalajara. It is actually not our first time here, so first impressions may or may not be completely accurate, but how would you describe like the, the feel here, the look? It is so pretty. This was our first love other than Bayarda. We spent <laughs> one afternoon here and I was blown away. Uh, I haven't had a chance to talk about walking streets recently, yes, uh, but it has a beautiful long mm -hmm. walking street, Calle Independencia here, lined with shops, restaurants, cafes, yep. uh, things seem to be reasonably priced. It's very festive, charming, colorful. colorful, and so like clean and classy, yet humble at the same time. Yeah, I think Hillary kind of alluded to it. Talaki Paki is the first place in Mexico that we visited that yeah. that gave us that taste of uh, the colonial charm yes. that that Mexico has. And we're gonna be here for, for a little bit. We can't wait to explore this, this city on a deeper level, but. It's a pretty cool place. walk around this beautiful city I'm reminded that I believe our first video here our only video here was titled something like is this Mexico or Europe uh -huh. and we were spot on with that in, in the sense of the, just the European feel the colonial yeah. feel here is incredible from the 17th century churches or possibly before the history the colors it's, it's, it's magical. Yeah, it's super lively. It kind of reminds me of Cuyacan in that there's street food, there's crafts, mm -hmm. there's music, there's tons of people here hanging out right. in a couple of the plazas and it's Thursday. Yeah. Uh, so it's not even the weekend, but it feels very, very lively, festive, cheerful, and it reminds me a little bit of Cuyacan. It's just a very hustling and bustling place, like a fun place. Uh, whether to come for the day, we highly, highly, highly recommend. If you're coming to Guadalajara, you have to come to Tlaquipaque. Uh -huh. uh, we're gonna spend some time in, in Guadalajara, obviously, and so we'll develop, I'm sure, like our top 10 things to do, but I can already say without a doubt, if you're in Guadalajara, even for like a, a short weekend trip, yeah. you have to visit Tlaquipaque. Uh, if nothing else, just to learn how to say Tlaquipaque. Tla. And the TL is Because strange. in Spanish it's Tla, tla. and in English it's Tla. It's what? Tla, tla. <laughs> One of the best things about Tlaki Park are all the crafts, all the stores, all the shopping, all the artisanship. One of the bad things about Tlaquipaque is all of that. The shopping. The shopping, but maybe she can find uh, another shirt like the one she got in Oaxaca. Tlaquipaque. 
Pakipaki is a huge city. I believe about half a million people live oh here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So we are just barely scratching the surface, uh, at least in today's video, of, yeah. of really what this place is like. Right now we are off uh, the little, little downtown area in a more like residential, I don't know, working area, there's businesses, yeah. but it's still extremely colorful. Uh, it's like every other building is gonna be a different color. Here we've got one pink. We've got music. We've got blue. Something that's interesting to me is this it reminds me a little bit of Queretaro in that it's very, very clean. Yes, I yes, think, yes. Uh, that sets it apart from other places we've been in Mexico. Not much trash. Uh, just the sidewalks are clean. Feels nice. Nice and fresh. I feel like it's, I could say this in almost every city we go to in Mexico, but I truly believe that most people, when they think of Mexico, they do not think of a place like Tlaquipaqui. And again, yeah. you could insert Chapala, Mexico City, anywhere. Guanajuato, anywhere, but I mean, that's kind of the whole point of our channel, right? Is uh, dispelling the, not necessarily myths, but misconceptions yes. about Mexico. But this place is, is truly something different. Yeah, I know recently we talked about an ahi how it would be a great first step. I also think Tuggy Pucky would be an excellent first step, especially if mobility is an issue. It is insanely walkable here. I give walkability a 10 out of a 10. Uh, the streets are very open, sidewalks are open, clean, clear, um, no obstructions, what else? No. It feels like everything is very centralized. So yeah. both the squares here, the plaza area, the churches are right here, the walking streets are all right here. Yeah. It's very very easily accessible, so I would say if you do have mobility issues, or if you don't, <laughs> Talkie Pocky is a wonderful place to visit. And I think that that comparison comes from visiting places like uh, Guanajuato or San Miguel de Allende, uh, San Miguel de Allende. Uh -huh. places with cobblestone Even streets. Vallarta. Vallarta, Ajit, those are obviously beautiful places, great places to live, but a little bit harder to get yeah. around versus uh, Talkie Pocky. Mariachis, crafts, arts, uh, the markets, there are s the food, there's so many things we left out in Telakipaki today, but do not worry, we'll be back strong with more Telakipaki for you tomorrow. Ho yes. Hopefully some food, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, me too. A special <laughs> thank you to all of you watching this. Uh, a special thank you also to all of our patrons. This video is sponsored by you, along with the Hotelis Mission Guadalajara location. Thank you for taking care of us, Hotelis. Mission. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. And we will see you tomorrow from here in Tlaki Paki. Tlaki Paki, maybe.